As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 147 Alleluia! How good it is to make music for our God! How joyful to honour him with praise! The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of stars and calls them by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre. Who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. Who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and even young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth, and his word runs very smoothly. He gives snow like wool, and scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind, and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his thoughts. Hallelujah. Give God praise for his goodness to us. He blesses us. He feeds us with the finest of the wheat. We give him thanks. 1 Samuel chapter 9 to chapter 10 verse 1. Now the day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed to Samuel, Tomorrow about this time I will send to you a man from the land of Benjamin. You shall anoint him to be ruler of my people. He shall save my people from the hand of the Philistines, for I have seen the suffering of my people, because their outcry has come to me. When Samuel saw Saul, the Lord told him, Here is the man of whom I spoke to you. He, he it is who shall rule over my people. Then Saul approached Samuel inside the gate and said, Tell me, and said, Tell me please, where is the house of the seer? And Samuel answered, I am the seer. Go up before me to the shrine, for, to my, for today you will eat with me, and in the morning I will let you go, and I will tell you what is on your mind. As for your donkeys that were lost three days ago, give no further thought to them, for they have been found. And on whom is all Israel's desire fixed, if not on you, and on all your ancestral house? Saul answered, I am only a Benjamin, Benjaminite, from the least of the tribes of Israel. And my family is the humblest of all the families of the tribe of Benjamin. Why then have you spoken to me in this way? Then Samuel took Saul and his servant boy and brought them into the hall and gave them a place at the head of those who had been invited, of whom there were about thirty. And Samuel said to the cook, Bring the portion I gave you, the one I asked you to put aside. And the cook took up the thigh and went with it and set it before Saul. And Samuel said, See what is, kept, what is set before you? Eat, for it is set before you at the appointed time, so that you might eat with the guests. So Saul ate with Samuel that day. When they came down from the shrine into the town, a bed was spread for Saul on the roof, and he lay down to sleep. Then at the break of dawn, Samuel called to Saul upon the roof, Get up so that I may send you on, you, on your way. Saul got up, both he and Samuel went out into the street. As they were going down to the outskirts of the town, Samuel said to Saul, Tell the boy to go on before us, and when he has passed on, stop there, here for yourself for a while, and I will make known to you the word of the Lord. Samuel took oil and poured it on his head and kissed him. He said, The Lord has anointed you ruler over his people Israel. You shall reign over the people of the Lord, and you shall save them from the hand of their enemies all around. Now this shall be a sign to you that the Lord 
has anointed you as ruler over his heritage. So here is the calling of Saul. Uh, God has called him apart to serve him. And we will see in subsequent readings how he starts well. Um, and God has called us to tasks. Let's make sure we receive the calling of God and uh, are obedient to him in all that we do. Amen. Luke 22 verses 14 to 23. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup and after giving thanks, he said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you, from now on, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but woe to the one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another, which one of them it could be who would do this? Let's pray. Our Father, we lift up to you today and all the various tasks you have called us to. Time we spend with our family, time we spend in activity for you. Lord, we dedicate this entire day to you and pray that you will bless it and bless us in your service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you, that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.